one of the most beautiful things about plasticity and one of my favorite things is its sleek interface and its quick and intuitive workflow like you've got all of these context options you know you can offset a face and then you know select another face extrude it and then down the bottom you get the context options okay i want that to be a new body so i press b and boom i've got a new body i didn't need to think about the shortcuts per se they were all there for me you know um that sort of thing is great so one of the pitfalls of this is um working quickly and not working methodically um you can get some dodgy topology like what i've got here now i'll eventually fix this but i thought i'll i'll come back to that later and i'll just go and fill at the bottom so fill at the bottom and we get face range of blend on face too large who knows what that means i have no idea but when you get these kind of problems you kind of need to problem solve them um, and these corners look like i've beveled them but if we take a closer look that's not exactly what's happened i've got these weird little janky faces in here if i can find both of them okay and you can't even see those selected when i'm zoomed in this far but if we select all of them including these two press shift x and get rid of everything alt shift x to select our edge ring alt f or whatever your shortcut is for uh patching holes and you can get that i know that if i press tab this is going to fail because the topology is still too dodgy to be uh uh, a G1 or a G2 so we'll just um, accept that and now when we go to do this we can get it pretty far so just a quick little tip and then we can maybe just go here and we can get a nice loop all the way around so well, I've still got this problem to problem solve, which might take a little bit more effort. Uh, this one's been solved and we've got a nice clean surface. So that's it for today. Just a really quick one. Like and subscribe and I will see you all in the next one. Tschüss.